Got some nice stuff in here. Smile, Katie. Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I hope that you enjoyed these clips from Vista Village. I hope they were useful in giving you an idea of pricing and things like that. And I thought I would go into the haul now. So I only picked up a few things. Um, to be honest, I was window shopping. I find that if you go to Vista, there's so many shops and things are obviously very expensive. So it's a good idea to have one trip kind of window shopping and seeing what's there and then go back like maybe a month later, save up a bit of money and um, pick something up if you've been thinking about it since the previous visit. To be honest, there wasn't really anything that stood out to me this time. The only thing that I've kind of been thinking about was two orange accessories I saw. So there was a heart-shaped orange bag in Kate Spade that I forgot to film. With the discount was just over a hundred pounds, but you couldn't take the chain off and turn it into a clutch, which annoyed me a little bit. Because I do like my bags to be multifunctional. And so I didn't get that. And I saw some orange Gucci loafers and I just thought, oh my God, the bag and the shoes together, wouldn't that be amazing? And the discount was huge. Um, so you'll have seen in the clips. It was like 130 down from like 530 or something, which is amazing, especially for Gucci. I'd love to own a pair of backless Gucci loafers, but I just thought I don't wear that much color. So I've actually ordered some more affordable orange accessories to kind of see how I get on. Um, but anyway, what I actually bought, they gave me a massive Ted Baker bag for no apparent reason because this is what I got <laughs> and I didn't get anything else from there. So I've been on the lookout for a quite a large cosmetics bag just to always have my travel essentials in because I kind of hate packing. So when I need to go somewhere, I can just grab this and it will already have little miniature versions of all my skincare and makeup and things like that. So I picked this one up from Ted Baker. It was £32 down to 19 and you know I knew that was a good discount I know I've, when I've looked online at these sort of bags before they've always been around 32 pounds so I think a lot of people are worried when they go to outlet centers that actually they're just saying that they're normally a really high price and actually you're not getting that much of a discount but I can confirm that Ted Baker do actually discount their items I'm pretty sure they all do as well it's just that most of them are still really expensive but yeah I just thought this was really pretty obviously rose gold hardware it's pink in the middle it's um like glossy so it's white clean which is really important for making makeup bags or it is for me anyway and just a really pretty design there was um lots of really nice ones there i should mention before i go on actually that the reason i went to vista was to meet up with katie from instagram her handle is katie.levionrose so i'll pop her down in the description box below so go and follow her on instagram if you're not already but it was lovely to see her i had a really nice time i hope she did too <laughs> and we went into the cosmetics company store which i don't think was there last time I went to Vista and actually the discounts in there were really, really good. Outlets are a great place to go if you use expensive skincare or use expensive makeup. Outlet centers are a really good idea because you're not really gonna find these items discounted. Like you don't get deals on skincare that often, like maybe Black Friday you might, but you tend to only get it on like seasonal makeup and things like that. So all of my skincare that I use regularly was discounted. So I use the Clinique three-step system. So this is the all about clean liquid facial soap and this is in the extra mild which is for dry to very dry skin so that's the one i use and it was 13 pounds which for this size i mean normally it's 18 pounds 50 is what it says on the back i think that that is about right that's usually what what they want me to pay so i was really pleased with that so i stocked up and then they also have the toner that i use so this is the clarifying lotion again this is the dry to very dry version and it was 
14.75 down from 19 pounds 50 again sounds about right that's usually what i have to pay oh and i've already got it in my hands so i got the moisturizer now this is the really expensive they're all expensive but this is the really expensive one so this is normally 30 plus pounds normally about 32 it says 33 on here and i got this for 24.75 so still expensive but it is it is one of the only moisturizers that works for me so i have to spend money on it all the time anyway so oh find me there we go so it's worth spending the money at Vista and getting a little bit of money off because I'm going to be buying this stuff throughout the year anyway. I actually have a travel version in my dressing table at the moment because I didn't want to spend all of that money on the big version. So I can go ahead and put those travel versions in my new cosmetics bag, which is great. But to be honest, this bag is big enough that if you didn't have travel size versions, all of these will fit in here. And there's still, as you can see, there's still a bit of space for like a bit of makeup any tools that you need like makeup brushes and things like that you could possibly get if you, you get like a mini hairbrush in there so you could possibly get some some hair care pieces as well so it's a really good size so i'm really pleased with that i picked up one more thing from the cosmetics company store is another clinique product that didn't have the full size version this is the take the day off makeup remover i actually wanted to try the cleansing balm but they didn't have it i've used this before and then stopped because I just thought it's a makeup remover, like I wanna find something cheaper. But to be honest, I've never found a makeup remover that's as good, so I might fall in love with this one again. But yeah, so that is the makeup remover I've got. And if I do decide to keep using it, I can pop this travel version. Hello, find me. There we go. I can pop this travel version in my cosmetics bag, ready to grab whenever I go on holiday. That was actually all I got from Vista Village itself, but I did make an Amazon purchase when I got home, and I also made an ASOS purchase as well, so there will be a haul coming very, very shortly. <laughs> I thought I would show you what I got from Amazon because it arrived today and it is skincare related as well. So this is the Kiehl's Turmeric and Cranberry Face Mask which is actually brilliant like it's so good it leaves your skin so bright and glowing and i found that it's really good because i don't get spots very often i usually i have dry skin that's the that's the main problem i have with my skin if i do feel a spot coming i usually put this on and it kind of stops it in its tracks which is great and if you have a spot that's kind of already come out it helps to get rid of it a little bit quicker which is brilliant it also helps with redness which is kind of why i bought it because all my skincare kind of caters for the fact that i have dry skin and I wanted something that would combat redness as well. And it's quite hard actually to find products that combat both. So I went into Kiehl's one day, asked what I could do to sort out redness in my skin. And I thought a face mask would be good because you know you don't use it every single day. So it doesn't matter so much if it dries out my skin a little bit. And this is what they recommended and I have loved it ever since it is expensive, which is why I tend to buy it on Amazon because they do tend to have it a little bit cheaper, but it is a really good product. So if you are someone who suffers with redness or just wants a more radiant complexion, then I would definitely recommend this. So that is everything that I got from Bista Village Designer Outlet, plus a little bonus item from Amazon. So I really hope that you enjoyed this skincare haul and I hope that you enjoyed the little clips from Bista Village, kind of like another silent-ish vlog, I suppose. I really enjoyed filming it and obviously I had a great time there with Katie. It was lovely, we ate such amazing food. We had a breakfast of macarons at La Girée, which was the bougiest, most decadent breakfast I think I've ever had. So if you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up so that I know to make more content like this. And if you haven't already, please do subscribe. I would love to have you join the family. Thank you so much guys, and I will see you next week. Bye.